Hi all, welcome to the ninth video in this series on how to create your very own text editor in Go programming language. So, in this video we are going to complete a bare bones version of the editor, although this is not the end of the series yet, but today we're going to add uh, a function write file which would complete this very basic set of features that would already allow you to use Ego as a text editor, although it's not yet practical enough to uh, perform some uh, daily routine text editing tasks but still uh, this should already be enough for that exact like bare minimum so without further ado let's add one last but not least function uh, that makes it a real text editor which is the right file because before we do this it's not yet a real text editor because we could change something we could edit text we could view text but we can't yet save whatever changes we made so uh, just right below the read file, I want to create the function called write file. And this function is going to take uh, an argument. So this is the file name and this is the string type. So file and error variables. Uh, so dynamically assigning error. Uh, OS.create. So we're supposed to be creating a new file named as the file name every single time. So if it just happens that it's an error, so if error is not equal to nil, something has gone horribly wrong. In this case, we just say fmt dot print line error. And then just make sure that we do close the file stream. So say defer file dot close. Now let's create a writer. So the writer, writer, uh, dynamically assigning the value, the value to buff io dot new writer, and it takes uh, the file stream as the argument. Now uh, loop uh, over the text buffer rows. So I could say for row and line in this case row is just a number and the line is the actual uh, content of uh, the text buffer row which is the slice of runes you remember the data type here right so dynamically assigning this to the range of text buffer yeah so we create a new line variable here uh, which is going to be called the new line and if it happens that the row uh, which is the integer remember the uh, like number like row 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so if the length uh, if the row is equal to the length of the text buffer minus 1 in this case we don't need to append the new line. In this case we can simply say that the new line is equal to nothing here. Right? And let's wrap this quickly. Now let's create a variable called right line which is going to be equal to we stringify the line so turning the uh, slice of runes into a single string and plus the new line. So the new line whether the new line character or just nothing appended there. Now uh, we need to do some error checking so writer dot write string so it may either work or not but anyway what it does we actually do write a string to the file and the string we write is the right line and it just happens that this is the error uh, so if error is not equal to nil in this case we want to just print fmt print line and error and the error itself finally we say write the flush to actually make it happen and don't forget to set the modify flag equals to false and now we need to uh, call this function write file so we're supposed to be doing this from our process key press function and here 
we'll add a new command. Uh, so case um, W uh, would actually make this write file. Uh, whatever source file variable, this is going to be uh, exactly uh, what we want to write. This is going to be the file name that we're given to our file. So say if we have these current um, uh, file name like here e.go, so this file would be rewritten. So hopefully that makes sense. Now let's actually test it. So right quit and build shell and um, ego e.go. So yeah, better to <laughs> not to do something with the source code actually. So uh, let's just start a new file here. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure that we don't have the out.txt yet. So ego e.go. We go there and just say r, so write, um, and quit. And it just created this file out.txt. You see this in here. This is an empty file for now. Okay, um, so again, ego uh, l.txt, uh, hello world, right? And just put some text here, right? So see like uh, modified has just changed to save, which is good, and quit. And again, Go into this file, so everything has been stored here. Yeah, perfect. And yeah, also, obviously, uh, we can do the following thing. So I just can say ego and just create some file name. Let's say my file dot uh, txt. Um, and yeah, this is my file. So now you see this my file that's exists wrapping because the uh, the name is too long but anyway right quit and we see this uh, my file.txt is there so we can open it again and keep editing so at this particular point um at this particular point uh the good news is that we have an absolutely functional text editor in terms of you can view the text, you can navigate through it, you can go to the edit mode and change something, and then eventually you can um, store like changes you've made, save the changes you've made to the hard drive, whatever uh, thing you use to store the data, right? So at this point, we can claim that uh, the bare bones version of the editor is now being completed. But start from uh, the next video, uh, we're going to add just a few bells and whistles to it to turn this bare minimum thing into a bit of a more practical one because you see there, there's uh, some difference between this version and the version that I'm actually using to record this video. So if I say ego, either go. So uh, in this version, I can also do uh, uh, line oriented copy paste undo redo and also using the powerful uh, Linux set command to perform find and find and replace using regular expressions if needed and this is also going to be uh, available on Windows because the set command is uh, also available for Windows and I'll show you how to install it and uh, we're supposed to be talking to the set command uh, via the std in and std out so uh, we'll use the power of the uh, sad command to do this fine and find and replace tasks within the editor and finally we'll add some syntax highlighting so that it looks a bit more cute and then that would be basically it but still lots of work to do yeah one last thing i forgot to do in this tutorial so let's actually make sure this also works on windows as well so i just Go away from here, say wine task mgr file new task command line. And here I need to say duh. Uh, do I have these? Uh, out? Yeah, I already have the out txt, but yeah, I can just try to create uh, 
e the renew file will try to edit whatever existed so ego.executable and let's say out.txt I want to have a look at this one so uh, for instance edit and I just make it like this and say something like so write quit and again this has been stopped perfectly well okay and say I want to create some new file so say my windows file txt and edit this is my windows file right quit and my windows file is working exactly like this I've been doing this on Linux so yeah guys this is from my side we have quite an interesting set of features supposed to be covered within the next few tutorials so hope you enjoyed as well and I'll catch you up in the next video